I got here on February 17th, on a Tuesday, and on Friday they released the news that there was an outbreak here in the Lombardy region. From then, everything started to take a very weird turn. This is the third month of quarantine, it's 40 days, but here we have almost three months. Tutti a casa, non ci dobbiamo muovere, possiamo uscire solo per andare al supermercato e eh, possiamo uscire solo per andare in farmacia. Completamente vacíos, gente ovviamente eh, con barbijos, guantes, cada minuto ti recomienda que por favor mantengas distancia de un metro. All the airports that I passed through, which was Peru and then Colombia and then Chile, they immediately took your temperature right off the plane. Um, actually in Bogota, they took my temperature about five times before I actually got my connection to the United States. I basically felt that I was much more protected when I got to Chile and when I moved through the airports in Latin America than when I did here in the United States. The queues outside the supermarket first thing in the morning are horrendous. They're really long. Uh, we've stocked up a little bit and we're wondering why it's taken the UK government this long to kind of shut things down. The bars are closed, I haven't been able to see my friends and go anywhere. And it is very weird. Nadie puede salir a la calle, hay un lema es quédate en casa. Es la única forma de que podamos controlar que no se expanda el virus. I think I'm feeling just like everybody else, a little bit confused. I'm like one of the most optimistic people I know and it's really a struggle for me to maintain that level of optimism. Desde lunes empieza una cuarentena total. Pienso que eh, se está tomando las medidas que obviamente van a ser impopulares porque na nadie las quiere tomar, pero hay que tomarlas. Yeah, it feels like something good is coming out of it. Yes. Y es algo que nos unifica. Eh, conscientemente nos unió más de lo que nosotros queremos. Find things to do during this crazy time and I want to talk to people about dating because I feel like this is an incredible time to actually put yourself on a dating site. This is this is about like getting to know people, like really talking to people. I spent an hour and a half talking to someone on the phone the other night and then I FaceTime with them the next night for about 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and that's just something I probably would not have done before. Like, I don't imagine that I would have done that. Uh, I am in Miami at the moment, and um, there are, in my neighborhood, a couple of parties going on. There were parties going on last night. We yeah. are still going now, unfortunately, when we shouldn't. Yes. But I, we hope we cross our fingers, we won't be ill. Yeah. Cuando venimos de la calle, los zapatos los mojamos como en lejía y se dejan fuera de casa. Mm, extremad las precauciones. No somos tan diferentes. Nosotros creemos que los chinos son diferentes a nosotros. Es mentira. So, you know, this is also kind of a gift in a way. There was nobody in the streets, which is very strange because the traffic here is pretty bad. In the highways, there's no traffic, which Miami is known for having really bad traffic. Primero, no estar pegado todo el tiempo a las noticias eh, porque es um, poco saludable. Buscar un canal que sea fidedigno. Uh, sometimes it gets overwhelming, so I try to, to manage my time with the news. Eh, hacer un grupo virtual con las amigas y los amigos eh, y mm, tomarse una copa virtualmente o hacerse un facial o tomar una clase de yoga. I have um, a date this evening with someone and we're going to watch a movie together via Skype. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm like, wow, that's so cool. Um, and I did see people driving in their cars with gloves and face masks inside of their car. Nosotros tenemos que poner nuestro gano de arena cuidándonos, tratando de estar sanos. We're happy to be here in the UK where we have a national health care system. So we're not having to concern ourselves with being uh, insured or not insured or, and, and not taking care of. Eh, saber si sos una persona eh, que fue ansiosa antes de todo esto y sabemos que todos traemos a cada situación 
nuestro pasado y nuestra forma de lidiar con las cosas. In some supermarkets, they were keeping their distance. Uh, in some other supermarkets, I went to two of them. Um, even the kids had glove, gloves. El spray de Lysol, el uh, hand sanitizer, las toallas de Clorox, ya todo eso está limitado por persona. The other thing that I know that the school is doing, they're giving food for free for all the people that did not, um, that do not have the money or that are on special assistance by the government to eat. But I do know that they're throwing a lot of that food away because not a lot of people are showing up. How am I spending time? <laughs> well, I've, I've cleaned a lot. Um, my sister and I did a couple photo shoots. They were probably terrible, but we did it. Um, reading books. I am doing what most people are doing. I'm cleaning, um, organizing. Um, of course, watching a lot of Netflix and reading some books. I'm playing the piano. Toco la guitarra hace años, pero estoy leyendo más, estoy aprendiendo a leer música, fue algo que dejé pendiente y estoy estudiando chino también. I'm doing a lot of meditating, I'm doing um, some at home exercise. I did a uh, Zoom call with four of my friends last night and that was really fun. We were like, you know, when we didn't talk about the coronavirus, we talked about some really other cool life issues and I don't know that I've done something like that with like four four friends. A lot of the West End shows have closed. And they uh, so they're on showing for uh, free. They're showing for free on the internet. So we're getting a lot of top stars of the stage and screen actually appearing on the internet, and that's quite interesting to see. We're really pleased to see the community coming together, people offering to help, and. Um, just taking care of each other and maybe in fact this is the new normal maybe this is gonna shape the world for the next little while so son tiempos de solidaridad son tiempos de compartir tiempos de cooperar tiempos de ayudar a aquellos trabajadores de la salud que están en los hospitales ahora en algunos casos ya rebasados que aprendí de esta experiencia que el mundo tiene que viajar más la gente tiene que conocer lugares conocer gente El viajar elimina la xenofobia y esto es una piedra más. Y, y la vida está llena de esas piedritas. Eh, lo importante es saber convivir y aceptar que hay cosas que no lo puede cambiar. Uh, well, we're, how we're preserving the planet right now. Like the planet is actually allowing itself to rejuvenate. And that's such a beautiful thing. Cuidaros todos muchísimo, ¿vale? Os mando amor desde España. Pronto estaremos un país muy limpio y muy bonito para volver a recibir a nuestros queridos turistas y amigos de todo el mundo. Os queremos. Bye. Somos la luz que alumbra con ardor.